What's up YouTube and welcome to the unboxing of the Canna Kit Raspberry Pi Starter Kit. This is the Raspberry Pi 2. This is complete starter kit with Wi-Fi adapter and black case. So let's get started. First, gonna cut this open. There we go. Open that up. See what we find inside. First thing we find is a HDMI cable. It looks pretty thick and sturdy, but it's still an uh, off-brand cable, but it's still nice nonetheless. Um, so, <clears throat> we have a box. It says, installation video can be found on Canon. Oh, must, must be the case. Let's, see. Let's check that out. A little piece of plastic came out of the bag. Hopefully that's nothing really to the case, but for the most part, this case seems to be made out of a good construction of plastic. Doesn't seem that cheap. And there's, it pops off like that, I guess, to get to your GPIO ports, which I think is really nice. Let's see what else we got. Um, power supply. See how that looks. It's just your run-of-the-mill power supply that you find, but this has Canna Kit on it, and it does have a good substantial amount of weight to it, which is nice. Um, we got heat sink, and what else? What is this? Oh, Wi-Fi. It says it supports up to N, which is pretty nice. Don't mind my fingernails. I know people in the comments below will probably say, Ugh, you're dirty fingernails. It's just thermal paste. I've been cleaning out a corroded um, router and I took off the heat sink and I put some Arctic Silver Fire, so don't freak out. Um, yeah, so this is the Canna Kit Wi Fi adapter. Um, let's see, we got shows you what all the GPIO ports do, which is really nice. <clears throat> we got the Raspberry Pi itself. Open that up, see what that looks like. Nice big box. The can of kit sticker on the back. Let's see what else we got in this box. Well, there's our memory card. It's cool. Element 14. Instruction manual. Um, yeah. Let's get a quick glance of the Raspberry Pi itself. And there you go. There's the Raspberry Pi 2 in all its glory. Looks nice. Um, let's see. Does it say where it's manufactured like the older ones? Yep, made in the UK. Nice. <clears throat> so let's look at the guide. Oh, it says right there that the memory card is preloaded with noobs. So I don't need to go through the hassle of going online, which is nice. So you know what? Let's go and try to set up that case now. We don't need to go online to figure out how to put it on a case, right? We can do it ourselves. Why not? Just don't totally get it why the case is ready pre put together without the Raspberry Pi, but no matter. Seems like some clips. There we go. So I'm assuming the Raspberry Pi this way because there's a little slot on the bottom. I'm thinking that is for the SD card slot. So um, it kind of lines up with everything that's on here. 
The one thing I'm surprised is the edges on this PCB board is kind of rough. If I remember correctly, when I got my um, original Raspberry Pi B, the one I'm using to mine my Bitcoin, it wasn't rough like that, which I find kind of unusual, but, you know. Okay, cool. Fits in there nice and snug, which is great. I'd like to see that. All right, so I'm put on the top piece. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Yeah, and as you can see, you have full access to your GPIO. Um, given how it doesn't really line up very good, I don't know how that heat sink would completely work on here, but yeah, at least I got that on. It's cool. And just put the cover on, and then boom, you're all set. So let's boot this thing up and see how it runs. Okay, I'm back, so let's boot this thing up. Get with the uh, installation process. Because supposedly there's supposed to be noobs pre-installed in here, so I'm gonna find out here in a second. Okay, there we go, got the splash screen. Yep, it looks like we are booting into it. Well, it doesn't look like I have much options on this one. I swear the last um, noobs I did for my old Raspberry Pi, I had the ability to select on a lot of things. But let's just install all. As we wait, swap that to English, I mean American English. <laughs> so I think this is gonna take a while, so I'll be back when it's done. All right, we're just about done with the installation now. Should be finished any second. Okay, it's saying 100% complete. the installation was successful um let's see choose a regular raspian all right well this one definitely boots up much quicker than my old Raspberry Pi, that's for sure.
Okay. Let's see what settings I can tinker around with. Um, let's see, change password. See with that we can do with that um so it's at 700 megahertz right now um, let's just bring it up to modest 800 megahertz get a smidge more um, performance out of it without making it too hot or using any energy so that sounds great all right cool okay that's about all i want to do for this moment so let's get on with it So you did it save everything? into the, the GUI, or the GUI as they like to call it. Alright, so we're in. Extremely slow. Oops. Oh, I must not have the Wi Fi set up. Yeah, I, that's all I really got for you guys today, YouTube. I just wanted to make a quick video about the unboxing and the setup process. I might actually do a video in the near future how to put noobs on an SD card. So stay tuned for that. But until next time, thanks for watching.